What's up everyone, Chef Lego Alex here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make my steak bag. So, if you didn't see my Instagram, I said I was going to do this first thing in the morning, but it didn't go as planned. So, now I'm doing it right now, as we speak. Alright, so let's begin. So, there's two ways to make me. You can make my chef uniform, or you can go with my Disney style. And I know what you're thinking right away, why is my hair pieces different? Um, well, you see, I don't have a same, I don't have a duplicate for the Jay's hair which is used for Ninjago, but because I just got the figure not too long ago and I maybe had to probably buy another one or find a way to get that hair piece again. You know, hopefully when a, another CMF comes in the future, like a real life CMF, not my drafts, um, you know, we can get that hair piece once more in a black color, you know? Um, so yeah, let's begin. So what you're gonna need is the Series 17 Chef as well as the Mickey Mouse figure. So yeah, the Series 17 Chef, or the Pastry Chef is what her name is, I think, uh, has an awesome uniform. And because she's yellow skinned, I thought, oh, we can make my minifigure in yellow skin as well. So this is what my character is. You know, frying pan has to be there. And his face, if you're wondering where it's from, is from Series 18, whoops, Series 18 uh, Brick Guy, I think that's the name, Brick Boy. I don't know, but, you know, there was a Brick Girl as well, but... Yeah, this face is pretty useful, and to be fair, I don't really have any other faces that are, like, young-looking. You know, because, like, either some of them have mustaches, some are Lego Movie kind of eyes. Um, you know, some have braces. I don't have braces or freckles, and yeah, so there's that. And Harry Potter's hair kind of makes my hair right. Um, it's a little more curly, but, like, it's down. I don't know, so that's why this hair is a little inaccurate, as much as I want to clean it to my hair. And yeah, so let's put that hair on this minifigure. Alright. <clears throat> Oops. Alright, so it does kind of look like me a little bit now that I, I look at it closer. Maybe this head is just not me anymore, but I'll get back to that later. So this is my sick fig in a way, and if you want to create it, those are your pieces and also the frying pan definitely it could be black or silver uh, I just found a silver one usually I carry a black one but if a silver one is the way to go you can do it so yeah and again if you want to alternate them I know some some of you guys don't really have those hair pieces there is also the classic Harry Potter hair you know that was my very first haircut um, Let's see, Anakin Skywalker's hair, I guess, could work. Not really, but it could work. And then the skater guy. I know someone made me once, but with the skater guy's hair. I mean, it worked pretty decent. And then, uh, let's see, come on, let me lift this. There we go. And then we also got, like, you know, if you want to give Chef Lego Alex a haircut, you can also give him this hair piece. But that's basically it. And... I think the Harry Potter hair probably works okay. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go with my Disney version. So what you're going to need is the Jay's hair from like the Jago movie. If you want to paint it black, that works so well because my hair is black, not dark brown. Um, unless in the sun, it's probably dark brown. But we also got the Bruce Wayne face from the Stone Six Batman sets. Or... Like, I think they're Rebels from the Star Wars. It was like those battle packs, and, like, they used to have those faces so commonly. Um, I don't know how it is now, but, yeah, so. Hot dog piece right here. You know, because Mickey Mouse likes hot dogs, and... I like mac and cheese dogs, like the ones at Disneyland. Those are awesome. So, I got Mickey Mouse's torso and legs, and the legs need to be, like, um, flesh-colored, but it's all good. For the sleeves, uh, what I did was I got the Ethan Hunt... Uh, Lego Dimensions minifigure and I just took his arms and I used Mickey's white gloves as well so that's how you basically make uh, my Disney version of course my actual stick fig drawing has the Mickey hat on but of course that piece doesn't exist yet hopefully they do one day but uh, yeah so what do you guys think post your comments in the area below and please um, show me on Instagram what how or like how you did my sig fig i'd love to see it and also for torsos i just want to clarify it doesn't need to be mickey's you know if you want to find another way to do it that's fine this torso if you can't find it you can you know use this if you like and yeah or if you really want to give me a baker's hat that works well too let's put that on me and if you want to do that that works as well, great as well and yeah all right guys till next time bye